How's it going everybody, Gold Hat here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 22 of my Cyberpunk 2077 walkthrough guide and in this entry I'm going to be covering the full Judy storyline and how to start it. So the only way to start her side missions, which is her storyline, is to have completed the campaign mission disaster piece. That is kind of early on in the campaign, so you probably have already done it. If you have not, I will have a link at the top right of this video that you can just press and you can get that mission done. But after that mission, she will give you a call and you will have both sides now. Now this is the first mission that you need for her storyline. I'm going to be showing you all the missions and the dialogue choices. If you do these dialogue choices, you can have the romance scene at the end and also get into a relationship with her if you want, but you do not need to have a relationship with her or the romance scene to get the achievement slash trophy Judy vs. Night City. Now the first objective here for both sides now is to go to Judy's apartment, which we will get some dialogue and I will talk to you right after. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Now for one of the dialogue choices here, we want to offer that cigarette case back to her mm -hmm. and that will help our relationship status with her. No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. 
thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her Next feet. Next dialogue choice here is going to be the top option. Can't believe she gave up. God, I can't wrap my head around it. Never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Dull Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging and her virtues found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? I don't know yet. I think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. I promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. So now we need to leave the apartment building and that is going to close out that side job. Now what you want to do is you need to leave that area. You need to skip time about 72 hours. So skipping three 24 hour periods and then you will get a text message. You want to open up that text message, read it, and then you can text her back as well. And then right after that, you want to skip another 24 hours and then she should call you right away. And I do want to point out any time that you complete one of Judy's missions and you are waiting for her to call you back, the thing you need to do is just get out of that area and just keep skipping time, do 24 hours and then wait a second, see if she calls, do another 24 hours and do the same thing until she will. It usually takes about three or four times to do it, but she will eventually call. This isn't a bug here. It's just how long it usually takes. So for this one right here, I waited about 72 hours. She gave me the text message. Then I waited another 24 hours and then she hey, finally called. Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds. Now, the main thing about this phone call is that you need to accept this and you gotta say, yeah, I'll got help, you. and that will progress us into this next yes. mission. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Mike. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Hey, I'm Josh and as always, sure, Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. So now after that phone call, we can pull up our journal and in that journal, we will now have the mission X factor. And this is our second side job, which is her storyline. And we are just going to go and meet Judy at the clouds.
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you after? So in these dialogue I'm choices, there are going to be two doll. big decisions that we have to make. The first one is Judy wants to make a proposition for you. This Judy will help the romance. And then there's one more. About clouds. Want to come back? Done. Always valued your skills. You know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable... Now for the second big dialogue choice here is do not tell Judy this is a waste of time. That's going to come up Woodman twice, but you want to stay with the top to option help. every time. You Just do not tell that Judy that, that this is a waste of time or this is going to put some bad karma in between you guys and you will not be able to get the romance scene at the Hide end. Even if you do say, Judy, this is a waste of time, you will still get your achievement slash trophy at the end. You will just screw up the Not romance part. You two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You two have a history? Way back, yeah. 
I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. Next up is another major dialogue choice, and that is we're going to kill the motherfucker. You need to make sure you go and do this with Judy. You will go up there and kill him. I'm going to cut out all that so there's no spoilers and so we're not going too much over an hour. But I'm going to cut that out. All you're going to do is ride that elevator up. You're going to kill him. You will get a little dialogue. There won't be any choices that I won't show you. So I will talk to you right after. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. So after you kill Woodman, this is where I'm going to cut that out, you will get back in the elevator with Judy and there will be another dialogue choice here. You just want to go to the top one here and that's revenge is rarely worth it. Once you have done that, you are going to get out of clouds. You're going to get a little bit more dialogue and that's basically mission ending and I will talk to you then. That's not how it works. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. So this is where we have completed X Factor and what we want to do is completely leave that area. You want to skip about 72 hours. All you want to do is just skip time 24 hour periods and keep seeing if you've gotten this text message. Once you have gotten this text message, you want to open it up. Once you look at it for a second and close out of it, you will start your next mission and that is talking about a revolution.
So now if we open up our journal, we are going to see that mission. And the first objective for talking about a revolution is to wait for Judy's call. Now, what you want to do is you want to flip this mission on. So you see it on the right side of your HUD when you're out of the menu. And once you've done that, you want to skip 24 hours. And right after that, she will call you instantly. Judy, so, got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. I'm gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A. Artichokes and avocado flavor. And zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. Now, the pizza choice will not affect anything, but the main thing is you want to press I'll be there. Now, this is going to progress and get us that romance scene along with getting us this mission. Now that we have done that, our job will update and we got to go meet Judy at her apartment, which we are going to just skip all that traveling out. Once you get there, you want to go up the stairs and you can choose to wait right here, which you will want to do. And right when you wake up out of that, you will have your dialogue. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? So then, what's the plan? We need to wait for Michael. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. Main thing here with Judy is just to you? ask her, so what's, what's the plan? That is the dialogue choice that we need here. So We're just going to click that and we are about? ready to move on. I'd like to hear the answer to that too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. <laughs> Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Alright. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? In the shade of an apple tree, a drama set in 20th century. Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. This has been your world report. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. 
I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? No! You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go. Next up for dialogue choices, it is going to be I'm all out of questions Ooh. to Judy. Gotta do some me? cardio. Okay. Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I, I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. So the one major dialogue choice for this mission is right here, and you want to say you can count on me. This is going to get you into that mission further, and that way we can get the romance and the achievement slash trophy for Judy. I'll set up meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine. Shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Next up, you Feel do like want to stay right? here for the night. You're just going to say you're out of Judy. questions, and then she's going to ask you if you want to stay no. here. You do not want to leave. You just want to lean uh, in uh, and stay here, no, and no this word. is going to promote that romance. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. It's Oscar. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? It's past. Forget about it. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. So once you wake up and you leave, that is going to complete the talking about a revolution. What you want to do is wait about 72 hours by skipping 24 hour periods. Then you will get a text message from Judy. You want to text back to her and then right after that you will get your next mission.
So once again, we're going to be waiting for Judy's call on Pisces. What we want to do is just skip 24 hours and then she will call instantly. Real quick, if she's not calling you to start this mission, you just want to keep skipping 24 hour periods. If it's still not working, go back to your apartment and do it by sleeping and do it about three or four times and she should give you a call. If none of those suggestions are working for you, what you want to do is save your game, get out of the game, load it back up, and once you spawn in, she should call you. Our first objective for Pisces is to go to the mega building and talk to the group, which is right over by the bar, and I will talk to you right after. Good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Gotta weigh in from there. All right, we going in? Let's do this. But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the so for side. time purposes, I'm going to cut the next part out of this video. You're not going to miss anything. All you want to do is take this elevator to the roof. Once you're on the roof, you're going to jump down onto the balcony and fight your way in here, or you can sneak into this conference room. Once we're in this conference room, we are going to have some dialogue choices that I will go over. So once you get there, you want to talk to our girl here. And once you've done that, we are going to have some dialogue choices. The main thing right off the bat with this dialogue is you want to hit let's do this. This is going to be one of the main decisions here, but there is going to be an argument that's going to take place where we have to go against her and not Judy. That's our target, Hiromi Sato. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're going to watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? So first up, you're gonna do an agreement here. Do my best, jack them out. That is what you All wanna right, hit here. I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. 
As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V? Now, this is going to be one of the biggest dialogue choices for the storyline, and you do not want to say, Judy, stop. You want to do, hold on, think we've gone too far. Now, you want to go against her and go and side with Judy here. Just do not tell Judy to stop, and you'll be just fine. V, you got to take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. No, you fuck! What the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Now, once we are confronting her, we want to take the bottom dialogue choice, and that is you tried, tried to, to cheat us all, and that is the correct you. dialogue choice Jeff for the, the romance with Judy team, at the pretending end. Pretending you wanted to help. But all you wanted was to take Hiromi's place. Bravo, but you missed just one detail. I still can, and no one can stop me. Not their corpses, not yours. Reason for fire. Unknown. So right after we kill her, I just want to throw this in real quick. She will have a machete that's not that bad. You can pick it up if you're collecting weapons like I am. But after that, we can loot her body, and we are ready to move on. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. Thanks, they weren't Julie. followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. So for the rest of the dialogue Jesus choices till the romance scene is basically you just want to comfort her. The first one is clouds is free. That's what's important. We really just don't want to go against what she says for the rest of the dialogue through her missions. You just Here's want to side with her and just show comfort it. and you will get That's that romance. Clouds belongs to the dolls now. All right. That was the plan all along. And you made it happen. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Jenny. So once you have completed Pisces, this might take a while. You just want to keep skipping time. I think I had to do this about five or six times. Every time I'd skip time, I'd just go back to gameplay. And once I finally hit about five or six time, I finally got a Judy phone call. That is what you want to answer, and we will move into our last mission. Hey, Jude. What's up? <laughs> you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Because I got a favor to ask. Now, the dialogue choice for the phone call is asked to your heart's content, and that Asked will move this along. It's never boring with you. 
Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. All right, then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. That's Sunday. Now that we have gotten this far, you want to say, okay, is this a date? And that is going to spark the romance. Okay, um, is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. You'll have to. See ya, me. Now for our first objective is we need to meet with Judy at this boathouse. I'm going to cut out all that traveling so we don't have to watch that. Once we get up here, we're going to talk to Judy. We are going to put our wetsuit on and we are going to do a dive. I am going to leave all this in here for you if you're having any problems looking for those optional locations. And I'll talk to you right after. V, looking good. You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. And another dialogue choice what that we say? have to pick here is you that in? you want to stand and you will say, hell yeah, I'm in, and this is gonna get the romance going. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right. Get that booty of yours suited up. Do this often? What? Make other girls put on skin tight wetsuits. <laughs> Mint diving. As for the rest, well, I'm picky about my girls. Let's get this scroller on you. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stay close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think uh, paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? 
Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Great. Motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. <laughs> I know that. Eddie Sorrentino, only you. Never did go in for sentimental stuff. Got stuck in my head lately, though, that one. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go! That's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now. Your childhood tasted like scop dogs from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. I don't even know anymore. It's hard to separate actual memories from what you want to remember. Well, our brains weren't built with perfect memory. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? Are you kidding? It's awesome. Hockey stick. 
Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing our music because of you. Call me! Call me! It's dead meat anyway. Anyway. Keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We're looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. I'd imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touché, Judy, touché. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear them. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah! Closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just... there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded. Found an opening. Think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, found a way in. Through the roof. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the 
altar and try to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts, know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared because of the Jesus of me. Thought about that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out. Flew right back in my face. Oh, thank oh, fuck. fuck. You're alive. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. I heard something weird just now. Sounded Once you wake up, we are going to have some more dialogue choices. The first one is you're going to want to tell her about Johnny. Now, the main thing about all these dialogue choices here at the end is you want to just tell her the truth and not hide anything from her. And that is going to make a deeper friendship that will open up that romance. Heard his thoughts, not mine. Johnny? What? Remember the relic? Reason for the whole damn heist. Johnny Silverhand's digitized psyche was on it, and... Well, his personality's seeping into my mind, taking over. You could say his mind's overriding mine. Oh, shit, V. That mean you're... disappearing? Can you stop it? And here we go. Next up is got a plan, got sort of. The main thing is you do not want to tell Don't her to not it. worry about it and you'll be fine. Well, work. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How Next up yours? is the coffee choice. There is no result here. You can just put Black, whatever please. you like personally or whatever. Like but after that, market. we are going to start the heater. All we have to do is run outside and turn on the generator, and we are ready to go on to our romance. Ah, forgot to start the generator. I could turn it on. You're going to take it easy. Promise to take it slow. What an incredible dive. Doesn't get more relaxing than that. Speaking of harm's away. Power's up. You go that way, go that way. So be careful, be careful. Release the whole Shit. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Once you come in here, you will sit on the bathtub oh, well, and you want to tell her that you're still, still synced, synced, which is the that. top choice here. And then you're going to get a little bit more dialogue and then there's one more decision. Tiger Claw Nonex took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight 
Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just... So now for the last dialogue choice. It is going to be at the top here. And that is, oh. it is ours. And it's the touch. It's it at the top ours. with the lip icon. If you have made all the dialogue choices I've told you to make, you will finally get this. So now for YouTube's policy, I am unable to post the rest of this romance scene because there is quite a bit of nudity. I won't spoil it for you and I won't post it because I just simply cannot. But once you are done with it, you will go outside, you will talk to her at the docks and you will finally get your achievement slash trophy judy versus the night city and that is for completing judy's storyline i also want to throw in here if you have not gotten the romance you will still get your achievement slash trophy so now that we have completed judy's storyline that will complete entry 22 and i'll be picking up in entry 23 as always i hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful if it has been make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you have any questions at any time feel free to drop a comment down below or you can hit me up personally on my instagram the link is in the description box and i'll see you guys next time gold hat signing off